Hey guys, it's Paul with Toolmetrics, and Laguna has redesigned their entire product line around dust collection. They've sent us out a couple units for evaluation, including the C-Flux 1, which is a 1.5 horsepower, 110 volt uh, cyclone that has a 1 micron uh, filter. Uh, in addition, they've sent us a P-Flux 1, same unit, same motor, with the addition of a uh, a HEPA filter uh, and some additional sound abatement as well as some maintenance light indications and it will, we'll get in and cover those uh, in a little bit. So there's four areas that we really focused on in our testing around these units. We're going to walk you through the results of those and uh, the, the areas are airflow. So we measure the airflow uh, of each unit in a variety of uh, static pressure configurations so you can get a sense of how it will perform in your shop environment. Uh, also air dust separation, which is really we're measuring how much dust is going to end up in the, in the bin versus how much dust gets thrown into the filter where it would clog it up and bring down performance over time. Uh, noise levels, so you can get an understanding of what the sound levels will be like running in your shop. And then finally just the features and functionality of the unit in terms of using and maintaining the uh, dust collectors in your shop environment. So we're going to walk through each of these areas. We're going to get started with airflow. Now the airflow requirements that are needed for each tool in your shop are going to be different, but the range of necessary volume is roughly 350 to 500 cubic feet per minute for each tool. If you have a drum sander or a large stationary planer, those are going to be a little bit more needy in terms of air movement, so you're going to want something in the range of 600 to 700 CFM for those tools. Now we tested the P-Flux 1 and the C-Flux 1 in a variety of configurations to simulate the static pressure that you're going to see in a typical small shop environment. With a short piece of straight pipe, each machine pulled around 1,050 actual CFM, which is great for a one and a half horse machine. And in the most dramatic case, where we hooked up both machines to a 10 foot flexible four inch hose, they each measured in the range of 670 CFM, which is a whopping 46% improvement over the previous generation in the Laguna family, their 1.5 horsepower cyclone. Uh, in, in talking to a lot of woodworkers, we know that this is a common way that folks use a smaller cyclone like this, so clearly these new, new machines are up to the task of hooking up each machine individually with a flexible hose, disconnecting when you need to use a different tool, and moving around the shop. In terms of where we would recommend using the C-Flux and P-Flux 1 based on the airflow capabilities that we were able to measure, these are more than adequate for directly connecting to your tools or running a small ducting system with a few bends and minimal flex hose. Now if you're looking to utilize longer duct runs or run multiple, multiple machines at one time, don't try to stretch a one and a half horse machine for that. For that kind of scenario, you're going to want to look at a two horse or three horse machine at a minimum. And we'll do some comparisons to the Laguna three horsepower P-Flux 3 machine in another video just to give you a better sense of the actual differences that you can expect in that kind of configuration. Now let's talk a little bit about air dust separation. One of the most important things that a dust collection system needs to do right is separate air from dust, putting dust and debris into the barrel and air out through the filter. When it sends dust into the filter, the system will clog, performance will drop, and you're gonna spend a lot of time cleaning out the filter on the system. To test this, we sent five gallons of the finest powdery MDF dust through the systems. This stuff is notorious for clogging up filters on dust collectors. Now when we, we ran this test on Laguna's previous generation 1.5 horse dust collector, uh, we saw about six tablespoons of dust end up in that filter. That's not bad at about 99.84% clean separation, but the new machines sent an average of, of about one tablespoon of dust into the filter, which is an 83% improvement, meaning less maintenance and better performance. Now of all the stuff that I'll talk about in this video, this is what impresses me most about these machines. This is a serious innovation. In general, low profile cyclones are not that good at this, frankly. And I know that Laguna has done their homework to solve this problem for us when I see results like this. Now here's a before and after view of the air filter from an inside view. 
you can see that the, fil the filter is still super clean and air is going to flow right through. If it can separate MDF dust, it can separate anything that you're going to throw at it in a wood shop. For the volume of air produced by these machines, I'd say they're impressively quiet. It seems that Laguna has put a lot of thought into minimizing the noise emission from these products, particularly on the P-Series, where they've added some sound abatement in the form of acoustic foam around the filtration system. And this brings down the noise level by a couple decibels. From 10 feet away at ear level, I measure an average of 83 decibels on the C-Flex 1 and only 81 on the P-Flex 1. Just as a point of comparison, a typical bench top planer is going to run in the range of 100 decibels and a miter saw in the low 90 decibel range. So this is going to be quieter than most of the tools that it's collecting dust from. Having used several different types of dust collection systems over the years, I feel like Laguna has really listened to woodworkers about their challenges around dust collection in general, and they've addressed those key points into their new design in some really clever ways. The first creature comfort that I'll point out, is, and this is included in both the P-Series and C-Series, is the dust barrel management system. This is great innovation. On these systems, the spring-loaded mechanism presses the high-quality octagon-shaped barrel right up and seals it to the cyclone, and removing it is just as easy. And you can use a bag inside the system, which makes it easy to empty the debris, uh, because the P-Series cleverly balances the pressure in the system with a connection back to the cyclone. And equally important, the barrel is sealed with a super high-quality thick rubber gasket. On the C-Series, a heavy-duty barrel liner is included to hold the bag into position so that it doesn't get sucked up into the cyclone. Also, all of these new system, systems include a nice remote control system that uses infrared and doesn't require line of sight to the machine. You can just click it on and turn on the system for wherever you are in the shop. And next, the P-Series also includes a couple of LED lights on the console, one that indicates when the bin is getting full so you can stop and empty the barrel before you have to uh, have an overfilled condition, and another one indicates when the HEPA filter needs to be cleaned. These are nice visual reminders that makes it easier to maintain the system. And finally, to periodically clean the filter, there's a convenient hand crank mounted on the top of the filter on the C-Series, which allows you to clean the filter in just a couple seconds. Laguna also offers an accessory that's an auto-clean unit that cleans the filter for you on an as-needed basis by measuring the static pressure and monitoring for when the filter might be getting clogged. That way you don't even have to think about it. On the P-Series, you simply blow low-pressure compressed air into the filter periodically to clean it out. All right, with that, I'm going to wrap this up. And just to kind of summarize, I think Laguna has scored well on all four of the categories that we tested on these machines. So uh, exceptional airflow for a 1.5 horsepower, 110-volt machine. Great air dust separation. Extreme advances over the previous generation in that area. Nice quiet operation. Uh, and lots of user friendliness uh, built into the feature set on these machines to make it a convenient product to use in a small shop environment. So I'd encourage you to stay tuned and watch for an upcoming video where we're going to compare the performance of these systems to the P-Flux 3, which is a three horsepower model, uh, almost an exact copy of this, just in a bigger, more powerful system to help you kind of make an informed decision on which machine might be better uh, in your shop environment. In the meantime, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, find us on Facebook, and let us know which tools you're looking at for your shop so that we can continue to produce these deep dive examinations based on objective analysis to help you make good decisions for your purchases in your shop. Thanks for watching.